Okay, at 5 o'clock, so I'll call a special call meeting of the Hartford City Council to order on September 16, 2021 at 5 o'clock. And we'll open with a word of prayer. Father, I want to thank you that we've enjoyed another day of life. Father, I pray that we've enjoyed it, enjoyed your blessings. Thank you for the opportunity we have tonight to meet as a council. We just pray for your guidance. Father, we pray for those that are not here. Pray that you'll work in their lives, Father, bring about healing. Uh, just give them peace and comfort now as they deal with their issues. Father, we just pray that you'll keep those around them safe and free from any any kind of uh, virus. So, Father, we just thank you for this opportunity. We ask for your guidance. And we just pray, Father, that everything's done according to your will. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Okay, I, I see we've got some visitors. I guess you're all going to talk about fire trucks. Yes, Everybody? Sir. Everybody about fire trucks? Yep. Okay. You're not. Yep. You're just here to spectate. Yeah, I'm just here to spectate. Okay. So no visitors tonight. Uh, we'll take a look at the minutes of our previous meeting and see if you have any questions, additions, or deletions. I've got one. And I proofread these things. need to add David Coleman to our list of people that were here last time, especially since he appears in several motions and prayers and everything else. So, anybody else have anything? Actually, he read, he led the group in prayer on that one. Mm -hmm. He actually led the group in prayer in that one. <laughs> well, he's also made the motion to, or second the motion to adjourn. He's up here. There's no other discussion or any questions or additions or anything like that. I'll entertain a motion to accept those minutes. I make a motion to accept. All right. Second. Any discussion? All in favor. Thank you. Aye. Stacia? Yes, in favor. Okay. All right. We'll take a look at the uh, our city attorney for a second. See what she's got on tap for us. Nothing. Okay. All right. Uh, the financials are in your packet. Let's see. There's a. Yeah. <coughs> if you have any questions about any financial reports or anything there, now would be the time to ask questions, bring up comments or anything. But it's a uh, last month, you know, on her pump that goes down to the you know, last oh, was last month that uh, yeah. we was hiring Beaver down. Yeah, uh, remember we've got a uh, company in here called Reveal. When it, it's Reveal, yeah. What they're doing is they're finding all of our leaks for us. And we're finding out that we've got some pretty severe leaks. Like down here on Barn Street, we think we've got a huge leak that's flowing, water, right in, right. flowing right into the sewer system. Okay. It's not coming to the top because it's, both of them are so deep. You know, in fact, it's deeper than any uh, any equipment that we've got. We're probably going to have to have. If you want to speak to that? And uh, yes, sir. We're going to see about having the reveal come help us possibly because they have a hydro excavation. They can come in, they can dig it. Or they got this truck that comes in, they can suck it all down with a suction hose. They don't have to put a bucket in the ground. We don't have to worry about tearing up any utilities. Uh, it can reach down as far as we need to. It's a lot safer. The ground don't get as disturbed. And it, it's about 12 foot deep right there. Got that sewer line. Well, and it, we had to fix the sewer line while, while we're fixing the water line. We now we'll have a big su uh, suck cover right there. And we'll have to continue going down, fixing it. It's right there close to a ditch. So we take all the ditch also. That's the one on Barnes. 
Yes, the one down in Barney. Have, have y'all started on that one yet? Or? No, we haven't yet. We're waiting a few more days until they get the, they're still doing the east side of town here. And we're going to see a few other ones that they might help us with while they're in town. What's the total up to now that you uh, Around 25 to 30 leagues. And all we've done is the outskirts of town so far. We haven't done any of this section. That, that lake down there is just super deep. And you know, we don't have any equipment that can get down that deep. And that's why we're, they charge $250 an hour. We get them in here for a day. It takes them an hour or two to get that lake. And then they, any others that are deemed to be troublesome, that we anticipate trouble with. And uh, So that water's going right straight to our sewer and wire. Yeah. And, wire. and there's probably a lot of them in town like that. Uh, I think there's one over here on Griffin Street just off of East Union. Uh, we Back when we were testing our own little, purchasing our own system, uh, two of them that we looked at both determined there was a leak there, but it doesn't come to the surface. And it's probably going straight in the sewer. So don't tell them how many we've got like that, you know. The only ones we've been able to work on is the ones that, are new, that do come to the surface. So hopefully this uh, eventually. Have it. Eventually. What about the the new meter that y'all had installed down there? Do what? The the meter that you had installed to check. For that's water. what he was. Is that what about. it was? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that was going through the meter. Yeah. Okay. That's why we're hired. I'll make the motion that we accept the okay. bank balance statement. All right. Second. All right. Any questions about finances? All in favor? Aye. Thank you. All right. Motion carried. <coughs> All right. Um, we're down to opening the floor for our old business. The first item we have on here is our consideration of a fire truck. So, Tim, you want to speak to it and address the council about it? Make a presentation? Yeah. Uh, Y'all do have to be able to be a package, right? Did something submitted? Do what? I have another date submitted. Oh, only one submitted, did you want? Okay. I'll explain why the lane's on here. So like I talked about before in the last couple of meetings, uh, the squad, the 2009 truck payments come to an end and we just gonna roll that payment over to another one. Granted, I know everything has went through the roof, just like vehicles, everything else. Uh, our maintenance down there is really starting to climb again. Uh, actually worse than it was last year. Uh, I just spent all day working on that ladder truck again today, uh, just trying to get it back on the road in a safe manner. I had a lot of electrical problems that was found during the annual uh, inspection and testing. And uh, so we're having to spend a lot more money on that truck. And the 2009 is actually starting nickel and diamonds to death too. Um, so like the last couple meetings, you know, I just you know, stressed that we need a new fire truck and to replace the old 2000, not 2000, the 1998. We're wanting to sell it, that help pay for this new. And it looks like we have, we've only got one bid, and I would like to, at the time, open it and see what we come up with. What did, uh, how many did we contract? How many different companies did you contact about a new engine? Three, just around here. It was a uh, fire specialty, and there's one out there that's about of it, and Atlantic. So. Okay. So this is what their their bid is right now. This is, I guess that's Atlantic's. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll take a look at it and see. What they're up for. <coughs> what for scissors? Oh man! Come on, Superman! I'm trying to keep them. 
tear it all apart and look at I believe that smaller lap flap would have been better. There was less, <laughs> less glue on it. Gosh. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is funky. Yeah, you want some people? Yeah, scissors or knife or something. Here, I got a knife. Yeah, I can, I'm just trying not to. River wreck the envelope, I won't put it back in. Here's your knife. Here's your knife. Here's your knife. Okay, uh, this is for a uh, Pierce 1500 gallon minute pumper mounted on a enforcer cab and chassis and the bid is $544,903 in those cents, 544-903. Okay. Looks like a 15 year pay plan they've got from Freedom Financial in Yorktown, Virginia. 15 year payback plan, uh, no down payment. Uh, first payments due a year after the loan. Payment is forty-six thousand one hundred forty-one dollars and thirty-two cents at a rate of three point one five percent. That's a yearly yearly payment. That's is that a yearly payment. Forty-six thousand. Forty-six thousand. Give me that total. Forty-six thousand. The payments uh, forty-six one forty-one thirty-two. That's fifteen-year pay at 3.15 percent. Okay. All right. Um, <coughs> uh, you've heard that bid. Uh, any questions at all about the bid? Anything you have for uh, this company? Mayor, I would like for y'all got some information too. I would like for them to share also. Okay, if, if I'd be know. fine. We'd like to hear from you. So, so with the bid pricing there, uh, first of all, uh, first of all, that is good through September thirtieth. We took a price increase as of August first. And we've been working with Tim and everything, so we've got the pricing held till September 30th. After September 30th, we're going to have about a $9,000 price increase after September 30th. It's something we've held back and held back, but the deadline they give us is September 30th. But also on the other end of that, that what you don't see in your packet, there's actually a big benefit to prepayment. If you decide that you want to get the truck, you can prepay through Freedom Financial. And, and what that means is they just pretty much cut us the check up front, but that's going to save you about eighteen thousand dollars, and it's going to cut your payment down. So, um, it, yeah, I think in your clarifications and exceptions page, it shows that uh, with the prepay, uh, you can reduce the, the total cost of the truck by eighteen thousand five hundred and fifty-nine dollars. Um, so that would actually reduce your payments to around forty-four thousand five hundred sixty-nine. Over the same terms, same rate. Um, and, and how that works is basically um, uh, you would you, uh, take the loan through Freedom Financial. They would pay Pearson in advance uh, for you 
um, right. and that would take advantage of that prepaid discount so that you can reduce re reduce your payments. So um, the the the, uh, the the bill time on the truck is approximately 13 to 15 months. Your first payment would be due 12 months after entering into the contract. So so that's that's your one uh, payment option. You could choose to. Uh, uh, solicit a local vendor, uh, a lo local bank, to see what terms they might provide. Uh, they too may, um, well, I know that they will. Uh, they they will uh, give you uh, the funds in advance to take advantage of the prepaid discount, perhaps at a better term. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, or you can choose to uh, pay for the truck when it arrives in 13 to 15 months, or you can choose to solicit financing 13 to 15 months uh, from now. So uh, you've got you know, several options. And that's, uh, so we, we, we could expect to see the truck in 13 to 15 months. That's and correct. We were thinking it might be up to two years or so. But. Uh, <laughs> it's not okay. a plan. You know, yeah. The okay. reason this is such a broad range of 13 months, you, you know, we, we were we used to be able to take 12 months and then, then we got this wonderful thing called COVID. So, you know, 13 to 15 months, you know, 13 months is nothing happens, there's no plant shut down for, you know, 15 months, that's saying, hey, the plant might have to shut down a week. Or but still 12 months from now, we're expected to make that first payment, first right? Payment be coming due in Before the truck gets here. Do we have some flexibility with that? Freedom Financial uh, will, will work with us to perhaps that, that first payment is due when the truck arrives. However, I mean, we, I think everybody in here knows and understands the longer you wait to make that first payment, the, 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 the higher your total cost. Yeah. Right? So. What are we paying? What are we paying yearly now on squad? Thirty three thousand and some more dollars. Thirty three seven hundred something. I'll talk What is that getting pulled from when we've made previous payments? Just out of general? Uh, if the way that works is if the fire department has the funds that they pay it. Right. And then if they don't then the general fund supplements. So the general fund we still got two payments left on it, haven't we? We still got two payments left on it. So one year we're going to double up baby payments. And yeah, yeah. Which, which better sell that old one for a good price. Huh? Better sell that old one for a good price. That's what I was thinking. I could sell that old one. I've, I've talked to brokers and they're looking at thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars now. So I could sell that truck and make another payment also. What would we anticipate for the old one? I'm going to try to get 40 anything possible. Those used trucks are going pretty high now, they guys? So well, I guess it depends on condition mileage of those. Yeah. Because I, I I looked over it but I didn't see it. What are y'all keeping in balance now for your fire department? I was going to get the statement from Marissa today and I missed her so I'm not sure what we're up to right now. Sure, the what our cash balance? Yeah. Yes. It's in here. No, that says, uh, well, that's very close to what they have. And we still have county money to get also that has not, we haven't got it yet. Okay, so there's about 6,000. Okay. So basically, almost. Fourteen thousand from what the squad payment is, right? Roughly. Some. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, I knew it was going to go up. I mean, I, just, I think. But you're talking about you know not you having to step in and help us out every once in a while, but you got to realize too we pay for everything uh, that we have to pay for. Maintenance wise. Maintenance wise, stuff. I mean maintenance wise equipment. Uh, you know, take care of these trucks. I mean that, that's something I want to do that's something i have to do i mean if the state comes there and says hey i need you to put that tool on that truck i go buy that tool put that tool on that truck it's a liability issue <clears throat> fire departments are expensive i mean fires are expensive too yeah yeah Any more is questions? This the purpose, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Is this the purpose? 
is this the purpose of some of the festivals and different things they got going on to help generate money to pay for this, Hergis? Yes, yes, pay for the truck, help with equipment. I mean, yes, all that money that we raise for the, from these festivals, yes, that, that, that helps us out a lot with paying for the, some of this stuff. Okay. What do you want from us? Well, I think there's three things that maybe we have to consider. Number one is, do we want to buy the truck? Number two, how do we want to finance it? Uh, uh, how do we go about selling the old truck, you know? There's players, uh, brokers I can go through, or um, and they're like books that you can put the ads in, like for used trucks. Yeah, generally, but your best your best uh, route is to go through a broker. Bring them out or somebody like that. Yeah, yeah. I just wish we had a good estimate of what the value I of it. I can get one of them all. Yeah, what the value deal. of it is, so that. And I was looking actually on Brindley Mountain. What's the other you one? You can set a reserve uh, as well with with the broker, so they work yeah. work off of off a percentage basis. So and I've looked at that. that same truck up, and they're going for like thirty five thousand, and and they're all ninety twos. You know, 93s, 94s, that's a 98, and it's got fairly no mileage. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm thinking I'll probably, I'm going to try to shoot at least 40, 45, and I, I believe I can get that. Well, let's get, at least get one monthly payment out of it. Oh, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, <laughs> how, um, excuse me, this is Stacia. How long has that bid been on the table? Why do we have a two week deadline at this point? We've been talking about it for two or three months. Yep. Once again, why is the 30th the deadline? Because, like I said, when we started talking about this through the whole process, August 1st, we took a price increase. So we arranged it with Pierce that they pushed it out to September 30th. They gave us this amount of time to close the deal. And then after that, uh, we get hit with a price increase. That's manufacturing. That's price. manufacturing price increase. It's material. It's a ma material surcharge. So it's increased. And it Due to material surcharge. Didn't Adrian say it goes to begin in January? February. February. Is that clear, Stacia? Yes. Did you hear him? I didn't know if you hear him. I did. Thank you. Okay. You know, the question is, do you want to buy it? Do you want to buy it at this rate? Uh, I think we ought to go for the lowest rate. Make the prepayment to get paid the overall cost down as well as the monthly or the yearly payments. So you're making that in the form of a motion? I am making that in the form of a motion. Okay, does she understand what the motion no. is? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you said it was what, $18,000? If, if, if you prepay, yes. it saves about $18,000 on the price of the truck. Okay. There's a $1,300 performance bond that comes out of that, but so that's why it says right around 17 so. Yeah. That's still that's real money. That's real money that's right. saved in the end of prepayment. And the payment goes down. Right? And the payment yeah, and the goes down. Does, the payment does go down. That's what I'm talking about. He okay. knew exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're making a motion to purchase the truck with the eighteen thousand prepayment. Right. Well, with the prepayment of the whole truck through yes. through well, freedom. Yeah. And, yeah. So. I know we got we ARPA money. Do what now? ARPA money. Can we not designate any of that towards anything for a truck at all? Well, right now we don't have uh, anything set aside in the budget or anything for a new truck. You know, we bought some trucks and we need right. to amend our budgets. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Maybe a hundred times, but. I didn't think ARPA funds could be used for equipment. ARPA can't. No, it can't be. ARPA can't. Um, but pretty sure they bought a truck from Beaver Dam. Like, well, no, they just they paid, paid. They paid that one out. Yeah, and I'm still working with the county, too, to get some money. Joe Barnes hasn't got back with me yet. They had a physical court meeting Tuesday, and it wasn't mentioned, so I don't know. I've heard there's $35,000 floating around how much for something was, for us. How much was their truck over there? 50. They gave them 50. Oh. <coughs> but how much was, do you know the total on the truck at all? I don't know, but I 
I appreciate y'all coming in. Um, y'all doing good things. And I, David, I appreciate everything the fire department does as a member of it myself. Um, I see it on the rise doing good things. Continue to do those things because it's this money's not always going to be available for the, for purchases of stuff like this. So just uh, it's like I told the water guys, let's take care of what we got. You know, it's, it'll last us for a while. With that being said, I'll second that motion. Okay. More discussion. Now, I would like that. Uh, would like just to say. Maybe in the future, if the city can get on with the fire department in collaborative efforts for these festivals, because the EDC had, you know, discussions of festivals. We were going to have a fall festival, and then the fire department came up with the festival. And I foresee in the future, if we could partner on these things, and the city put some money behind these festivals, and we kind of have it as a Hartford citywide festival where contributions go toward the purchase of a new fire truck, that that would be a good, you know, a good thing, good marketing thing, good citywide collaboration. So yes. in, in the future, yes. if we could do these together, yes. I think it kind of looks better. I was actually talking to David Henderson. He's the one kind of heading up the our, our committee for these events. I said, hey, this thing has blown out the water. It's gotten huge. Next year, we're going to have to have some help. Uh, and the good thing about it is we haven't spent a dime on this. Everything has been pretty much donated and what we're going to be doing is making money off of the food truck sets up the vendor set up all the little events that we're having but yes absolutely we will next year we will have to get the city involved in it to yeah, help us out it's, we had kind of envisioned maybe getting back to our old harvest festival that we had years ago perfect yes yes but if that, you know, if that means that money, you know, it used to go to like coats for children and different philanthropy type things. If it goes to the fire department, I'm fine with that too. Okay. Just That's I think, fine. I think That's fine. City White Back. Yeah, we didn't know that y'all, they was having one until we already had ours planned out and it was almost too late to cancel. And, and that's, you know, yeah. we apologize for that. But, uh, but yeah, we'll work with y'all next, next time. and. And also the car show, which you know that's a pretty big deal, also. So. Yeah, yeah. More ideas is always always welcome. <clears throat> sure. Okay, we've got a motion on the floor. Uh, we kind of digress a little bit now. <laughs> but uh, is there any discussion about the motion to purchase fire truck? If there's no discussion, then all in favor. Uh. Okay, motion's carried. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, Thank for you. preparing the report. Being here tonight, appreciate it. Thank As you. a matter of process, I just make sure we're done. So there's a contract that we would need to execute. Right. Um, at, at that point, uh, you'll have 30 days to figure out the, the financing component, right? So if you wish to use free financial, then we just need to, to know that because uh, we'll have to uh, send credit apps and get financial records and those types yeah. of things to, to finalize that. Or again, you can you can uh, solicit local financing to see what that looks right. like. But either that, either way, uh, within 30 days. Um, well, we can yeah, you know, we can always finance through y'all, and then if we determine it's a cheaper local place, you know, later on we can refinance it or something like that. Or you'll need to make sure that motion gives you the authority to enter into that. Then I add an addendum to that motion that you enter into this contract as soon as possible. Okay. We're good. Okay. We're so good we with send, you. Send, uh, send the, the chief the information for the right. clients and they can... Uh, Just let us know what all you got to have as far as That's information, right. anything like that. Right. We'll get it for we'll you. Make sure we understand where we go from here. So. Okay. Thank you all. We appreciate it. All right. Thank, Thank you all so much. You have a good night. Thank you all for having me. Have a safe trip back to Lexington. You. We're, we're actually both living in the spring, but we're up there at an EMS conference. So oh. they went back and then back home in the car. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Y'all be you. safe. Appreciate Well, Jerry, we just bought a fire truck. Miss, you missed you it. Lot. We just bought a fire truck. I vote no. <laughs> you get to make the first payment. I do. Yeah. yeah. That was part of the market. Yeah. All right, going on to the next topic for our old business. Uh
We have the water project on Country Club Lane. Can I um, ask a question? I thought when we had a special call meeting, we only met on the subject we thought we were going to meet on. I didn't know there were others you could add. Oh, well, maybe not. Whatever we put on the agenda. What are we put in the agenda? You know. Oh, okay. You have an updated agenda that was updated <coughs> in 24 hours. Huh? You have a new updated agenda yeah. that was within 24 hours of the special call meeting. That's how we could. That's how we could add more things onto the agenda. Whatever. Okay. Uh, the water club, uh, the country club water project. Uh, we put that on the table till this meeting. Uh, it's been notified by the county they're willing to pay half of the new pump. Um, pay for half the new pump, we'll pay for half the pump and also for putting it in, uh, which won't cost as much of anything. It'd be our people doing it, so. Um, Do they want to join the city? Do what? Do they want to join the city? We have not asked anybody on the Country Club Lane whether they want to join or not. I do. You're only one of how many? Park and the, Park the, and the golf club. Yeah. I really want to annex that out there. I think we should if we're going to be put, we're going to be taking Hartford taxes for their water, I think so. I said that so, the last time. I can use ARPA money for this if, I, if we're going. <laughs> I could go that route too. It's one of two of them that I'd like to see annexed. I can use ARPA money for paying for this half of the pump and insulation. We can get funds from that, so. Yeah, I'll make the motion. Okay. And I'll second. All right. Any discussion? Do we know what our portion is yet? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's twenty-three thousand four hundred fifty-three dollars and fifty cents. Okay. That's all it's and that's just going to come out of the ARPA funds. Yeah, we can bring it out, take it out of I'll ARPA funds for a water project. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor of that? Aye. Okay. All opposed? Me. Okay. Motion's carried. Uh, the next thing for old business was I'm still looking for a uh, wastewater representative for our city. Uh, uh, if y'all come up with any ideas, any? <laughs> I, I still have to get with Kenny. I, he's been gone. And I've had been sick, so we're we're struggling trying to get together but I think he'd be the best one for that so uh, I'll open the floor for new business at this time uh, first reading for ordinance setting our taxes for this coming year you've got a copy uh, could I read this right if you take a compensating rate you're still like reducing taxes we're what now? If you take the compensating rate, you're making more money, but you're reducing your tax rate. Is that right? Am I reading that right? Well, yeah, because your tax base went up. Evaluation's been up. Good job, Harper. <laughs> Somebody built a nice house or <laughs> sold an overpriced house or something, you know. So, anyway, uh, the ordinance is. Uh, 2021-05. I just need somebody to read that first part of it there. You want me to read over the phone? You can. Go ahead. <laughs> Nobody ever jumps on me. <laughs> no. Um, You're so good at it. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, an ordinance living in Valorum taxes for general municipal purposes for the fiscal year of January 1, 2021 through December 31, 2021 on all taxable property within the taxing jurisdiction of the City of Hartford on each $100 of um, fiscal year 2021 assessed valuation as follows. Um, real property, 40.2 cents. Tangible and personal property, 29.25 cents. Motor slash watercraft, 22.8 cents. 
including real and personal property of public service companies. Okay, thank you very much. We've had the first reading of it now. Uh, the rate did go down from 40.5 to 40.2. Uh, <clears throat> And the others have pretty much remained the same. So basically the, the uh, property tax is what everybody's concerned about. Okay, so we'll have our second reading next month, I think. Okay. Uh, next uh, item of business is Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Uh, received a letter from Steve Winkler, who's, you know, the getting the Boys and Girls Club started um, here in High County, working on it. Uh, he, he sent a letter to the city to request a, a support for this club in the amount of, uh, he's requesting $10,000 to support their after school programming efforts. So, so uh, bring that to you, that request to you, see what your pleasure is. What's the ten thousand um, mainly for? For the Boys and Girls Club back to school program is what it is. Uh, they're trying to get that started here in the community and uh, just looking to the city for support for that. They're looking for to individuals, looking to uh, service clubs, wherever they can get the money to help fund it for a it's year. It's going to be a one-time thing. This time it is, yes. I do know you can uh, the sign out front of the old Wayland on May on uh, 231 there talks about how much money they've earned. It looks like it's up to $300,000. What their goal was $400,000. I do think because we have limited child care in this area that it is a good, good program. I know they've already started functioning. I don't know how many kids they have, but it's for after school. And it, um, I think it's a good program. Uh, I'm not opposed to supporting this effort. If I may, as I'm a board member of our Boys Girls Club, uh, the, the club is functioning and uh, it is after school and we're going to have 53 kids uh, so far. That's usually how it goes. It, it kind of slowly sure ramps up as you go. But once you hit 50, uh, you can become an official club that is recognized nationally. And uh, the thermometer that we have out there for the money that was that was raised, that was for, in order to start a club, you have to have three years of operational funds. So before we could even start, we had to have three years funded. So essentially what we're doing now is perpetuating that. If we want to stay open past three years, we're always going to be fundraising. And typically, with the way that the Cliffhagen Boys and Girls Club operates uh, in the other areas, they have a club in Orangeboro, they have a club in Henderson, they have a club in South Spencer. They just uh, took in the club in Butler County, and typically, uh, it is their kind of, uh, I'm not going to say protocol, but they typically do go to cities annually and ask for funds. And if they get them, they do. If they don't, they don't. Uh, I think they said that in Orange Pearl sometimes they, they just have an item budgeted every year. But this will probably be an annual thing. Uh, but Beaver Dam has already been contacted. Uh, I think the county has been, but they haven't talked about it. I've actually talked to, to Mayor Sanford and Beaver Dam. And so they haven't officially voted on anything yet, but everyone got the same, the same letter that you all did. So they're wanting ten thousand from from like physical court, mm -hmm. city hall, and uh, this can fall under our performance. Uh, that yeah, uh, because uh, there I've seen a list for the things that you can use ARPA for, and we we had a meeting yesterday. The Boys and Girls Club did, and we can we can we can handle it under six different categories. Right. So, because we're, uh, I know the county's working on something now, giving small businesses loans out too. So, there's a big broad band out there with the it's, uh, funds. It's growing. They they had like 16 or 18 kids the first day of school, and now they're pushing 50, and it's just going to continue to grow because there are just a lot of people that just don't know about it yet. 
uh, uh, and we're trying to get the word out. And every day, I mean, quite literally every day, there's phone calls of kids getting in. So. I think it's great, and right here in our backyard, it's even mm -hmm. better. So, and we'd appreciate any help you can give us. I will note that George contacted me when he first received the letter asking about the legality of it, and the city can make a donation so long as the funds and the projects are tied back to a direct benefit to your city residents, which I, I think obviously, from a child care standpoint in Hartford, that obviously does. Um, you know, you all are allowed to, to set your mark how you the one it's spent or things of that nature, but uh, I know he had some legal questions, and some of y'all may share that, but that's, it's... Generally, you don't say, oh, a city can just hand out taxpayer dollars, but so long as it is benefiting, uh, you know, the tax base, right. you're usually okay. And there are some some conditions that we have to, they'll have to satisfy for us to be able to justify. Right. You couldn't you couldn't give them the, the money and then they spend it and only once for a club. You right. Have, you know, it'd have to be a local yeah. designation. And I, the, we, we talked yesterday in the meeting, they have... Uh, and with the ARPA thing, you know, the way I, I sent out an email, I said, I have to assume that the National Club has figured out how to do all this, and, and, and he did. Uh, Ryan Bibb, who kind of does the more day-to-day -day stuff for us, uh, you know, they, they, he had an email that had six different categories you can do it, and I assume there's going to be some forms that we have to fill out and submit back for you all to give to people for the ARPA stuff or whatever, but they're fully prepared to do it. It's Boys and Girls Club nationally is a machine. They right. have it all figured out. Okay, is there um, any discussion? Uh, desire to take action on it? I make a motion that the city of Hartford contribute $10,000 to the Boys and Girls Club. Okay, and the funds do? ARPA funds. No, if yeah, to. if we can get get it justified, you know. If not, then take it from okay. economic development. Okay. Okay, that's it. I agree with that. Okay, so we'll look at ARPA first, and then economic development second. If and then your salary comes third, George. Well, they wouldn't get ten thousand. <laughs> Uh, my salary is not going to break anybody up. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there a second? second? Okay. Mm -hmm. Any discussion to the motion? All right. Then we'll vote. All in favor? Uplifted hand? Aye. Okay. Motion's carried. Um, we've got two resolutions to consider tonight. Uh, you want to talk about those resolutions or? Well, one resolution is you know, work with us and we'll close what avenue behind the hospital between uh, Gillespie and Mercury. And we've got the old utilities off that box so that we're starting to start. Uh, to do that, I have to get some street lights in there. And they can do a lot of pictures of street lights that they requested by the city to remove. One is directly behind the hospital, mm -hmm. right in the middle of our parking lot, the all. The other one is over on the corner of Humphrey and, uh, and Mercury. And uh, we've already worked with the mayor, and we've, we've gone in and put a new concrete post with a, a 20 some odd, 30 foot tall uh, street light that's going to be on our dime that will hang over the street and connect on the street because that pal is fed off the block that we're on. So uh, we need to see if we can have Does it pro huh? provide the same light to the residents? No, it'll probably pro provide no light. Okay. It's actually an LED device, LED light. Okay. I'm sorry, I missed some of that. Will it provide light to the residents? Probably yes. greater to a greater intensity than what was there. Because this this is a nice nice flat panel LED light. So uh, and when we, that power is killed on uh, our block, it'll kill that light pole over on the corner of the corner on that on that side. And then there's two more lights on the other pole that actually faces our parking lot that we have put up that we're going to have to have take down. So, so but K KU has to route rerouted some electricity or cut power off that area. That wheel, I've already rerouted. If you drove around there, I've had to have power rerouted to all those houses that we bought. We have to. We're, the the lot right behind the hospital is going to be cut down somewhere around four feet. 
so you've got a crown. Right. <clears throat> so all that's got to come down about four feet. So all the power on that lot behind the hospital, except those last houses up here that we didn't purchase, is going to have to be relocated. So we've already relocated Atmos. We've already re uh, in the process of relocating KU. And then uh, we're working with TNT and uh, Spectrum. Uh, just a resolution to remove those two light poles. So, uh, need a uh, motion and make a uh, motion to remove the utility poles that need to be moved. Okay. A second. Uh, it, oh, okay. Third, I didn't hear it. He has to speak up. I thought I'm the one. I thought I'm the one who had hearing problems. <laughs> Okay. I Any discussion? You have <laughs> All in favor? Okay. Motion's carried. Is that a motion for both locations? Both locations. Check. The second resolution. Second resolution yeah. Here, the second resolution. There was another resolution we were having to drive to the. Can't remember. Do you know what that was? Had to do with our finance here. Not bad enough. Nothing. You were on that call. Nothing from the city. You know. Well, you need another one? Well, I, Tara, Tara has done all our deep work, property work on the uh, properties, and I thought there was another one. That Nothing involved in the city, though, in the words. Okay. okay. I will tell you, starting Monday morning, we'll be bringing people in. We're going to start putting parking lots in. So we're going to start seeing some activity with a lot of trees, a lot of trees to come down, parking lots going in. We've not got everything finalized. Y'all work with the federal government. You know how yeah. uh, loans work. We're trying to finalize all that with the USDA, so uh, we're hoping to break down. You've got to get everybody to sign one of these, don't you? Okay, but are we, was that that motion was for the? Both of them. Is a joint motion. To do both lights. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. get them signed. I'm just typing the names. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, no other business can be transpired in, um, uh, Anybody have anything you want to, anything you want to say? The only thing that I might have is I did talk to the mayor yesterday. Can I, might, am I allowed to bring that up this week? No, we can't, we can't make a, well, we can discuss it, but we can't decide. I don't on. think any action has to take place. Ever since we've had the sidewalks replaced, some, some we own some, two buildings downtown Hartford, and our neighbor at this English, we got water coming in the basements. We never have had water before. We brought the engineers in right after that, and uh, their answer was, we didn't know there were basements in those buildings. With all due respect, I think that would be their job, not their basements in those buildings. So I've talked to the mayor. Uh, we're we're going to have to keep up. Jerry, Jerry, who works for us, is going to be back to work next week. We're going to look into it. But I can tell you all three of our buildings has got water coming in. And, and, and you know, the bank building's been under 100 years. So it's, it's, it's an issue that we're going to have to get addressed. And the only other thing that I'd like to bring up, and this is something that EDC did two or three years ago, when we spent money and, uh, with the council's approval to have some landscaping done in front of Roxanne Island, that little island down there. And it looked beautiful. You just look at it now. It just, and I, I talked to George about it, and he said, you know, we spent money for something the city to take care of. And I respect that. But the city just did something in downtown Harvard with all that landscaping and everything like that. That's something else for the city to take care of. And, uh, you know, part of the city's future and growth is going to have how the city looks and can we bring more business in here. And uh, I can't compliment the mayor enough to say when he brought in a uh, young man who takes care of our cemetery. What's his name? Jordan Overstreet. Yeah. Cemetery's never looked that good. Never has looked that good. Of all the years I've been around, it's never looked that good. You know, I realize our city workers are short-staffed, overworked, underpaid, underappreciated, and all that. Like most everybody is, particularly in this environment today. But, you know, maybe you know, something could be looked at to help bring out maybe an independent service to do some stuff. One of the concerns I had was, and it goes back to several years ago, uh, Woodman of Amer America, is that the name of the insurance company in Beaverdale that the candidates are involved with? Uh, modern Wood. Modern Wood. They donated some uh, landscaping to the Grand Fire Department. It wasn't taken care of. It looked good. Huh? It, it did look good. It did, but it's gone now. Yeah. 
And you know, he got frustrated with that. I mean, spending money to put things in the ground requires attention. And I understand our staff may have that. Whether it be through the funds or whether it be the city, the city funds or somehow, part of that is the look and the appeal of the city of Hartford, I think. I agree and, 100%. And I think that, that I don't think Roxanne's areas is too far gone. Obviously, the draws is long as long. <laughs> but it does need some attention. And right now, the city of Hartford downtown looks nice. But I can tell you, this, this spring, those roads are going to need to be trimmed and everything like that. And, uh, you know, I don't should care. should have been so. dead-headed all along. Huh? Should have been dead-headed all along. Right. So I just, all I'm asking is, is that, and I don't take care, take care of the ones in front of our buildings, but if it, we got seven different people doing it seven different ways, it's going to look a little odd going yeah. up and down the street. So let's just, if there's any ideas or suggestions on that, I, I would welcome to see that because I think Hartford's got a lot of positive things going right now. I just like to see that move continue to move forward. And there's and, a lot of young groups that will come out, you know, uh, Eagle Scout projects, uh, Cub Scouts. I'm, and I agree, like, I understand the staff, but uh, I think it needs to be maintained. I mean, that's the beautification of what we're doing and what we're signifying from. And uh, I know that maybe there was a church that said they would possibly pull weeds and do the mulching down there by Roxanne Island, I think. So um, I think it's something that we needed to really look at. I do think y'all remember when the Women's Club in Hartford was active. And you know, most of those places now are older and it seems like the younger generation are as active. But the Women's Club every year decorated downtown Hartford with flowers and everything like that. And it looked great. But you know, that generation has passed. So, you know, I guess it's kind of, we've got to look for another, channel, another option. So that's all I've got. Thank you. Okay, anybody else have anything? I'd I'd just like to thank you for the donation. I agree with what he's saying. <laughs> Do one I'd just like to thank you for the donation to the Boys and Girls Club. We okay. Very much appreciated. I've got one thing that's been brought to my attention. Are are these guys maintenance and water? Are they how are the trucks pickup trucks doing? Are they being used or? Yeah, we've actually them? we've actually got probably more vehicles than we need. Well, my question is, is, is Jason and his water truck...